as a barbecue centric vlogger, I feel it's my duty during cooking through COVID's quarantine to show you exactly what goes into making a brisket, especially one that you're going to barbecue. This is footage from Saturday night where I trimmed the fat cap on the bottom of the brisket down to about a quarter inch. This process can take anywhere from 15 minutes up to an hour, depending on the brisket that you have as well as the level of detail you want to achieve. So let's fast forward to the next day. Okay. I'm not going to talk too loud. It's four o'clock in the morning and I don't want to wake my wife and daughter, but you got to wake up and you got to give yourself ample time. If you want to have your brisket by lunch, you got to wake up real early. Like I usually would get up around two, two thirty to light the smoker and get the brisket on. More or less, I give myself about eight to nine hours to light the smoker a while and get that all ready. So this is the day of the cook. The morning of the cook, you light the coals, could take anywhere about from 15 to 20 minutes. You have to build up your smoker. Hopefully you cleaned it since your last cook. When you build up the smoker, you have to add in the coals and all your wood chunks, and then you dump in your lit coals. And this process, give yourself an hour because you have to run probes through your smoker and you have to let that fire actually build before you start to choke it off. While your smoker is coming up to temperature, this was an opportunity I like to take to complete the rub on the brisket. This, I'm only applying black pepper and it's 16 mesh black pepper, as well as granulated garlic. I put just a little bit of salt, but remember, we primed it the night before. At this point, we're going to add the brisket to the smoker. It's up to temperature. It's ready to go. It's at around 225 degrees at this point. And I wanna get the smoker actually up to 275 to 300. I then insert a probe into the point of the brisket. So now, what can you do now? You can either go back to bed, but hey, it's almost 5 a.m. Might as well just stay up now. Or you can just relax. Ugh. I'm gonna go with that option. Even though we just did all that work, it's not done yet. Every hour before the brisket hits what is known as a stall, we are gonna spritz it with a concoction of apple cider vinegar and Worcestershire sauce. You can use whatever you'd like. This process simply keeps the meat moist and gets your bark forming by making all your seasoning tacky. The best smell in the world. Brisket cooking on a spring morning. All right, it's time to give this one one more spritz. Um, and then we'll probably be wrapping it within about an hour. Our temperature of the brisket is at 150. Internal temperature of the brisket's at 165, and the bark is developing exactly the way I want it to. Peach paper allows the brisket's bark to keep forming by allowing the brisket to breathe. However, it also traps in all the juices and allows the brisket to stay moist throughout the entire cook. This also allows the brisket to almost roast itself as you cook past the stall and speed up the cooking process. It is an alternative to cooking with tin foil. Here I place the brisket in a disposable pan, wrap it in tin foil, and put it in a cooler at room temperature. The final phase before eating the brisket. It's called slicing the brisket. It's a very important step. But if you mess it up, it's a texture thing. Tastes different too for some weird reason. We're just pulling this out of rest. It's wrapped up still. I 
anyway. All right, let's get slicing. There we go. It should hold up under its own weight, but just a little tug and it's gonna come right apart. We're about to give it a taste test. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now that we're getting a little deeper into the into the flat, I want to show you. So again, it's holding up nice and still. You can see the smoke ring. It's that pink area right under the bark. You can see the fat cat that we left on. It's nice and full of juice now. There are two parts to every brisket. You have the flat and you have the point. If you prefer more moist meat, you would want to order from the point. If you want more dry or lean meat, you would order from the flat. Here I'm just creating barbecue brisket boxes. These are, I have four slices of bread in them, some brisket, a little armadillo eggs that we did the other day, and some onions. And then you just fold it up and put it on a piece of bread as well as some homemade sauce that I'm gonna feature later this week. So you just saw all the work that goes into making barbecue. Before you do try that sauce, make sure you try the barbecue in its truest form. Here's another picture of the box for you, as well as the sandwich, wow. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, and share below with your friends. And be sure to wash your hands.